to push its boundaries in terms of competitiveness uh, and uh, making our productivity go up. And that comes in part from policies that are fair, that encourages competition, and policies that um, uh, builds on our human capital. And that includes, for example, the quality of our schools, uh, the, 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 what do you call it, the, the way we manage our talent, the shrinking of the brain drain outflow and so on. And the second layer, which I think is possibly a much overlooked area, is the fact that you know, there's a tendency to look at the high value added, high technology, high skill manufacturing at this point in time. We are forgetting that not our entire economy is headed in that direction. In, in Peninsula, Malaysia, in Penang, in Johor, it's like, oh yes, we can do that. But seriously, if we look at Sabah and Sarawak, if we are only promoting high-tech investments, who will invest high-tech in Sabah and Sarawak? And if you are not investing high-tech in Sabah and Sarawak, and you are not promoting all your other types of investments, which are so-called low-cost, low-skill, then there will be no investments. What we did is we spent every single cent of whatever we for profits to earn for that year in that particular year. So there's no savings, no uh, reallocation of such earnings into specific productive sectors or reallocation of such earnings into investment for say renewable alternative energy sources. So as a result, uh, what you have is expenditure or, or we are spending away our oil earnings or non-productive or less productive sectors with uh, reduced on price tax. So that, that is one problem that we face. Uh, one of the solutions that we have proposed and we have pushed for is the Norwegian model, where oil and gas earnings are actually separated from government earnings, is placed into a specific investment fund. In fact, the fund has been managed by an independent body separated from the government, uh, answerable only to the parliament or the, 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 the king. And their investments is not even in the country to prevent conflict. As today is their over tapping petroleum. Uh, our the, the petroleum cash reserves are, are on a standstill. The amount of profits remaining within petroleum petroleum for reinvestment has come down over the years. Set up policies to restrict the use of oil and gas money. For example, uh, only X percent of petroleum earnings can go to the government. The rest has to stay with petroleum for reinvestment. Secondly. Um, of the amount going to the government, okay, the type of expenditure it can be used should be only for development expenditure and not for operational infrastructure. Really, is to improve transparency and governance, uh, improve competition so that efficiency goes up. Uh, until today, the biggest contracts are still being awarded in a direct fashion without any uh, tenders, uh, open or otherwise. Uh, politically, we, uh, we want to increase. Uh, the degree of political freedom uh, in the country this includes for example uh, that focuses uh, on policies and debate rather than on things like uh, race based issues. I think social platforms they are really looking at your know, education, looking at the, the religious freedom and, and so on. I think the movement is run by the NGOs. There's no question about it. 62 NGOs. Now NGOs are leading the cause. Political parties are free to support the cause. So if the NGOs believe in free and fair elections, DAP believe in free and fair elections, BKR believe in free and fair elections, we will call our members out to support the cause. And in fact, the 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 the, the Brussels have stated clearly that BN parties are welcome to call for change in our electorate system. Okay, so it's up to individual political parties, their position, their stand, as to whether you want or you agree with the cause being pursued by uh, You cannot leave us out just because we are political parties. I mean, we are, we are, what do you call it, we are, we are, we are stakeholders within the system. It affects us the most. Uh, and if some NGO, it doesn't matter whether it's Brussels or Bae, <laughs> that comes out in the future, if their cause Okay, it's in line with our objectives, then certainly we will come out in full force to support it.